<laughs> well, I imagine that uh, the possibility of a pope being in hell is open to us by God, after all. Any human being can become an unrepentant and inveterate sinner, and there is no protection against that, especially given to a pope or to any priest. Um, St. John Chrysostom, I think it was, said that the um, road to hell is paved over the skulls of bishops, and um, the pope is just a special bishop. He's the bishop of Rome. Um, he has great graces that come with the office of Bishop of Rome, but that means that he is also uh, burdened with grave responsibilities um, and perhaps beset by especially dangerous temptations. Yeah, I think it's um, I think it's appropriate for Dante to put popes in hell. Now, if you then ask whether it was right for Dante to specify the three popes, the four popes actually, that he puts in hell, um, that's a tr that's a difficult that's a more difficult question. However, he has already done that with other human beings, right? I mean, he's He's giving us lessons in morality by showing us the downfall of this person, that person, the other person, some of whom are legendary figures, some are mythological, but a lot of whom are historical and even contemporary with Dante. Um, if it is okay for him to do that in the context of his uh, theological and poetic work, then I suppose that can extend to clerics too. There would be no special protection given to the clerical order um, when it came to that. I admit I'm a little more uncomfortable. So I sometimes uh, will say to, to students that, that, um, that nobody could accuse Boniface VIII, for instance, of, uh, of licentiousness in his life, that he led an austere life, he was not given to drinking or pleasures of the flesh generally. Um, he was not particularly uh, fond of wealth for its own sake. Dante has condemned him because he believed that Boniface sought the papacy for power. Um, and uh, that alone would make Boniface guilty of the sin of simony. Um, you don't have specifically to sell uh, an Episcopal seat or something of that sort to trade in the sacraments. You don't have to have written up contracts of that sort to be guilty of simony in Dante's mind. If you pursue ecclesiastical office in the way that a politician would pursue a political office, that already makes you guilty. 